Maybe you, like me, have been messing around with GoPros and other action cameras for a number of years, mounting them to your helmets, you know, in different sort of ways, uh, mounting them to vehicles, bikes, cars, whatever, tripods, you name it. And maybe you, like me, over the years, have ended up with a little box of GoPro mounts and other trinkets. Buckles, sticky pads, mounts, screws, half of them broken. And maybe like me, when you go into this box trying to find a specific item to help you do a new mount for your GoPro or whatever, you can't find the bit that you want. Everything else is there, but is there a better option? Well, yeah. This is a 72 piece GoPro accessory kit from HSU. To be perfectly honest with you guys, and I always try to be, uh, I've never really considered buying one of these larger kits of GoPro accessories before, simply for the fact that I don't feel like I would use even half the stuff that's in them. But when you think about what you get for the money in one of these kits, they are pretty cost effective. Uh, I always seem to go onto eBay and, and buy little bits and pieces as I need them. Uh, as an example, I recently purchased two of these J-mounts, um, $12 for the two delivered. So, you know, it all adds up. So this kit was sent to me for free to review and show you guys if you want to buy one yourself. They are $89.95, I believe. That's US dollars. Um, there's also a shipping fee on top of that, which is pretty reasonable. Um, but we do have a discount code, which you'll be able to find in the description or right there on the screen. That'll give you 10% off if you're interested in purchasing one of these. All right, also I'm gonna show you guys what's in there. I'm gonna divide it up into what I will probably use and what I definitely would not use. I won't be giving a demonstration on how each and every single piece of this kit works or anything like that, so don't worry about that. So as some of you guys would know at the moment where I live, it's been flooding. Um, we've still got the COVID thing going on everywhere, but yet yeah, this still only took uh, two weeks, I think, to get here from China, so pretty quick shipping. Whoa, that is pretty cool looking already. Okay, I'll bring the camera over a bit closer, guys. All right, so there's obviously quite a lot of stuff in here. Um, we'll move this to the side. Right, hey guys, I've just gone through all the stuff and unwrapped it all. It's kind of like Christmas morning. <laughs> it's unbelievable how much stuff we've got in this 72 piece kit. Surprisingly, there is actually a lot more stuff in this kit that I will use than I thought there would be. So what I'm gonna do, I'll go through everything that's in the kit, guys. I'm gonna start off quickly running through the stuff that I probably won't use. There's not that much there, but we'll just quickly go through that anyway. Um, but firstly, this is the case that you get. So look, even if you don't use this for camera gear or you know GoPro gear specifically, this is a nice case. It's got a handle at the top here. It's a hard, hard shell case. It's got some nice zips. That's gonna be handy for something for sure. Um, nice zippered um, sort of see-through mesh panel here. And you've got your foam section in the bottom here with all these cutouts. So if you wanted to put a, a GoPro in there, all that sort of thing. So yeah, that's, that's a nice case, guys. You know, you'd probably pay 30, 40 bucks just for that. All right, so the stuff I wouldn't use, a waterproof case for the GoPro 9 and 10. The good thing about all this stuff that I wouldn't use is it comes with stuff that I will use. Like you've got your wide winged thumb screw there. They're a lot easier to tighten up than the standard ones. And of course, we've got a, a buckle. So that well, I will use. Okay, I may, I may not use the waterproof case, but that I will use. You get a floaty case as well. Comes with the same thumb screw. So if you want to put your GoPro in that, it should float rather than sink to the bottom of the ocean. And I believe this is uh, another floaty device too. You stick this on the back of your standard case if you don't want to use the floaty case. So that's a, a floaty bit of foam. We've got a floaty selfie stick thing as well with its own lanyard and another thumb screw. A little hard camera case. So that's pretty cool. Comes with a little carabiner. So I've got a nice plush 
uh, lining inside. Get this nice big uh, felt sort of carry bag with the HSU logo on it. Another lanyard. That is some kind of Velcro strap. I'm not sure what that's for. I believe one of these is a wrist strap with a slidey mount on it. And another one. Yeah, one. I think one's for a remote or something. A pretty decent uh, chest mount set up here. Something that I wouldn't use, but again, it also comes with a couple of buckles. So you've got a J mount buckle and your standard GoPro buckle and another thumb screw. So cool. All right, so now we get into the, the good stuff. Firstly, we've got a head strap mount. So GoPro finger mounts on there. We've got two handlebar mounts. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You can mount those to any kind of pipe pipe work or crash bars or whatever. I thought these might be ND filters or something, but I think they're just uh, different colored light filters. So not sure what you'd use those for. Probably should have put those in my wouldn't use pile. Probably the best part, guys, of this kit is all the mounts. What have we got? So all these mounts here, guys, are in addition to the ones I've already showed you that came with the other bits and pieces. So this is like a safety lanyard strap. So basically uh, good for surfboards, jet skis, whatever. You just have that as an extra backup if your camera gets knocked off its main mount. Um, it's not gonna fly off and disappear. A little bit of a backup there. We've got two J mounts, as I said, I paid 12 bucks for two of these by themselves. This contraption here, man, these things, if you're mounting a GoPro to your helmet, these things are invaluable. You've got arms that can move in different directions. Even if you just use these pieces separately on another mount, um, you also get a couple more of them here. It's a, a longer extension there and a shorter one. We've got two standard GoPro buckles here. We've got two tripod to GoPro adapters. We have two curved sticky mounts here with the sticky pads and also two flat. And we've got a whole bunch here of extra sticky pads, so that's cool. Bunch of thumb screws there, as if we didn't already have enough of those. We also get a suction cup mount here. This one's cool, it's a sort of uh, alligator clip with a GoPro mount on it, so that it's quite strong. We've got one of these extensions. If you want to hang it off the front of your helmet, pointing back at you sort of deal. So yeah, nice long extension arm there. We've also got a couple of, I think, well, I'm pretty sure this one's for a mobile phone. So you can, you know, put your tripod screw into the bottom there and you've got a, a mobile phone holder. This one, I'm not too sure of. Looks sort of like the same sort of deal, but I'm not sure what that is. So we also get, of course, a little tripod. Very handy, these things. If you want to put your GoPro on the top, obviously you use one of these tripod adapters, that screws on, then your camera goes on top. And another very cool item here is the selfie stick. So this guy has a another tripod adapter on top and another thumb screw. So if you want to put your GoPro straight onto there, you can just get rid of this tripod adapter. GoPro goes straight on top of there. This is fairly long. Hard to get it all on camera, but it's probably it's probably about a meter long that thing, um, and it's one of the ones that you extend to how long you want it and then twist to lock it in place. So yeah, super cool. Goes down to a fairly small size. All right, we're getting to the end of it now, guys. Uh, we have a GoPro lanyard neck strap. Um, it's got a little D shackle on the end, GoPro logos on it. We have another small carabiner. I think these are for your thumb screws to stop them getting lost. I'm not really sure what that's for. Um, yeah, I could be wrong about that. Get one of these tools, which uh, is handy for tightening up your thumb screws if you need to get a bit of extra leverage on it. So, thumb screw fits in there and you can really wrench, wrench these tighter if you need to. We get two sets of lens protectors. These are tempered glass. Pretty sure in each kit here, you've got one for the lens and one each for both of the screens on the GoPro 9 and 10. Another little lanyard. 
These are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen these wind slayers. You put your GoPro inside, it's like a foam case that cuts out a lot of the wind noise. And last but not least, we have a rubber case for the uh, GoPro 9 and 10. So that also comes with another lanyard, a protective rubber lens cap for the GoPro. And one of the coolest things in the whole kit is the pass-through door for your battery door. So it allows you to be able to plug power into your GoPro to charge it without having to remove the battery door or, you know, run it from external power. So there you have it, guys. The 72-piece GoPro accessory kit from HSU. Very comprehensive. As I said, there's a lot of stuff here that I will use and it's definitely going to come in handy. I don't think I'm going to be looking at buying any more GoPro mounts or accessories for quite some time. Obviously, I haven't put any of this stuff to use yet. Um, I can't tell you how well it works, but just by looking at it, it all looks like as good, or if not better quality than most of the stuff you get off eBay anyway. Definitely great value for money. Make sure you use the link in the description to buy one of these if you want one. Also, uh, as I said, the discount code for you guys will be in the description as well. And, you know, a lot of this stuff is going to work just fine for your DJI cameras, your other action cameras. A lot of them all use the same sort of GoPro mounts now. The only thing that's probably not going to work for other cameras is obviously the, the cases and that sort of thing. But uh, still, still a lot of stuff there that you can use. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Grab your kit if you want one. Happy GoProing. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.